How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Mitomator tutorial. So something a lot of you guys have asked me, uh, I know some of you already know this, but for those that don't, how do you add texture packs to Mitomator? And one of the reasons I felt this was worth a full-blown tutorial is because it's not quite as simple as you might hope. So Minimator actually uses uh, a resource pack that's kind of the old style of Minecraft. And I'll show you an example of that. So here we are in my Minimator folder. And uh, as you can see here, we have a few uh, folders. One is the, or subfolders, one is the data and one is the other. Now, they basically have similar things in them as far as the textures go, but there's a few things like certain uh, character skins and whatnot that are kind of separated between the two. In any case, uh, this is the texture pack that Minimator uses. This is what it looks like. This is the old school like Minecraft. Everything's on one sheet. And uh, yeah, and as you can see that there are multiple versions of this uh, and it goes on and on because certain textures are animated if you watch the fire or the lava or even uh, some of the waters and whatnot between each frame. It's kind of hard to see that there, but you can see as I scroll through them, that's animated. So certain textures that have to be animated, you need all of these different frames for them and stuff. So that could definitely be a pain if you're talking about doing this with uh, you know, a custom fire animation texture or something like that. But in order to easily just change which texture pack Minimator is using for basic blocks and whatnot, you need a texture pack that uses this kind of sheet or you're gonna have to make your own. So I actually have a texture pack downloaded. I have a few that I uh, downloaded before. What I'm gonna do is bring in a schematic real quick and uh, see if I can show you guys how you would bring one in once you have one. All right, so here's our little schematic that I brought in. It's got some cool stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just using the basic Minecraft texture pack. So one thing to note, when you're actually bringing in something, you can change the texture pack the Minimator is gonna use right here as you're uh, importing. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Otherwise, what you can do is change it in the objects properties you can actually change it here in the library or you can change it in the uh, like when you select the object and this comes up you can change the texture here changing it here I think actually would allow you to animate it so uh, it's good to keep that in mind but I'm going to do it from the library here so I'm just going to click on this and then you have browse so when you do that it's going to bring up your box and I'm just gonna navigate to where I have the texture saved. So here we are in the, uh, where I have the texture saved and the nice smear, and it's got some of uh, the mobs and things like that. But basically I just want the basic texture sheet. So when I click on this one and it's gonna open it, and then you'll see that the texture of my terrain has changed. The, uh, the leaves are pretty much the same, but as you can see here, the tree is different. The grass is vastly different and uh, stuff. So that's really the main issue with trying to use custom texture packs with Minimator is that it uses that old style. So if you see a new texture pack that you wanna use, then you either have to find a version that's made for the old version of Minimator, which can be relatively difficult, especially as time goes on and it becomes more and more distance into the bowels of time. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that, that it can be done. All right, and there's the grass. I was distracted there. That's why I started stuttering because the grass just looks so sharp and awesome. Anyway, um, so there's another thing you can do though, as you can see here, that changed the texture on our schematic, but the ground here is the same and that's unfortunate. But you can also go into your background settings and as you can see there, it's got the texture. And now that I've already imported that one, it's in our dropdown list so we don't have to browse for it again. And if I select that, then you'll see that our textures are the same, whoa, for the background as well, and not just our nifty schematic that I brought in. All right, guys, so here I am in Photoshop, and of course, not all of you guys use Photoshop, so this applies to whatever you're using. I'm using Photoshop because it's what I'm most familiar with. If you wanna use GIMP, I have a couple of videos where I use GIMP, or I'm sure you can find tutorials on how to use GIMP. Other people use something called paint.net. I've never used it myself. But whatever you can use, whatever you like to use to, to edit your skin or whatever, I'm sure will allow you to do this. You just need something that has the ability to have transparent backgrounds and can save as a PNG because that is what Minecraft and Minimator and most things generally use 
because it keeps that transparency data in the image file, okay? Now that we got that over with, uh, what I wanted to do is show you guys if you have a texture pack that isn't set up like this, okay? Let's actually set it so I can see where my cursor is. There we go. Uh, so not every texture pack you're gonna find is gonna have the oldest version in it so that you can use it in Minimator. So what I'm gonna show you here is how you can actually change it yourself. Now this is a very tedious process and I'll show you an example of how you can do it and make it real simple and easy on yourself. So uh, let's just use uh, our planks as an example. Usually a texture pack will have the objects labeled as what they are, even if they're different in the texture pack. So we're just gonna go, you're gonna use our planks here. So you have oak plank, spruce, uh, birch, jungle, acacia or whatever it's called and dark oak so as you can see here i have a texture pack called the last days or whatever and i'm gonna look for the planks let's see if i can find planks so as you can see here we have planks and we have birch jungle oak spruce etc so what i'm gonna do is bring these files in now the way i'm bringing these in may be different for you depending on what you're using but this is just what i'm gonna do you can uh select one and like Go to open with, you can edit with GIMP or it has open with and I can choose Photoshop, etc. cetera. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna actually select them all and drag them over into Photoshop because that's how I roll. So what I can do here now that I have these files in Photoshop is I can actually import them and bring them into the image that I'm working with. So with Photoshop, it allows me to just grab them and drag them over and it will import it, bring it into the scene as such. Um, but for you, it may be different. You may have to copy paste it or something like that. Again, it really depends on what you're using to do this, but uh, it can be done. So another issue we're, ha we're having here is this texture pack is actually uh, a higher resolution than the one that I'm using, that my animator uses. But all we have to do, I can actually scale this up and down. So I'm just gonna take it and scale it. Uh, or I could actually scale the minimator texture up and that would uh, actually probably work better but what we're going to do here is i scaled it down and i'm bringing it over and there we go i can just overlay that on here so we've got the oak plank i'm going to drag that over and i'm just going to set it up and scale it down hopefully you're working with something that is the same resolution which is the 16 by 16 original minecraft texture resolution uh, otherwise uh, we can do it in a couple of different ways and we will get to that in a moment. So this is jungle. So I just bring this over here and I'm gonna overlay it on the jungle texture. And then this one is birch and I just bring it in so on and so forth. You get the idea and then uh, we'll do like that. So that's one way you can do it. But let's say you wanna bring in a higher resolution texture pack and you're gonna edit it and go through all the trouble of doing all this. Well, what you should be able to do is resize the image. Now, again, this is in Photoshop. I don't know how this will differ uh, with the editor you're using. In Photoshop, the resample image thing is uh, ticked and it's by cubic by default. What I usually do is just go to nearest neighbor. You could possibly turn this off completely, but this is just generally what I use. So a 16 by 16 texture pack is 512 wide because of the number of textures on this sheet. And if I wanna bring in another one, the one that I'm using is actually 32 by 32. So that means I need double this. So what I'm gonna do is make this 1024 and bring that up. And as you can see, our textures scaled beautifully and they're sharp and everything worked. That is me using Photoshop again. I'm sorry if you're using something else and this isn't as intuitive to you, but I'm just trying to show you the process here. You may be able to download uh, a 32 by 32 or something older texture pack, like original texture pack, uh, that would have the same setup for Minimator and then use that to change it, I don't know. In any case, uh, now when I bring in these textures though, let's uh, actually still have them, I think, open in Photoshop here. Anyway, uh, when we bring this in, then you'll see that that actually is the same size as the other. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And we can just put it in place. So just to give you guys an example of uh, what I'm talking about here, if you have a texture pack that is the original resolution, which is each texture should be 16 by 16 pixels. I have an old texture pack that I actually made some time ago that's actually not that good. 
uh, but it is 16 by 16. So when you do that and you bring them into your project, you'll see here that it just works perfectly fine. And all you have to do is bring in the textures and they should line up perfectly. And uh, you'd be all set, man. You got it all worked out and stuff. So if I just bring in a few of these, I don't know why I'm doing so many, but as you can see here, when I zoom in, these are all our are all the textures that we're going to use and they've replaced the ones in the original thing as you can see here if i make those invisible those are the original textures and these are the new ones so we've replaced them and hopefully you got them lined up the way they're supposed to be jungle over jungle you know if you were doing the redstone ore then you would make sure that those are lined up where they're supposed to be because that's how Minimator is going to read the textures wherever it is on here is where your replacement texture needs to be you know pretty intuitive you know that should go without saying but just to make sure you understand so basically what you would do after you've gotten this set up the way you want to you would just save your image as a png and uh you can name it whatever you want it doesn't matter what the name is you just save it and you'd be good to go as a png file so uh let's just go ahead and save this real quick and we'll open it up in monomator and i'll show you guys the effect all right, and here we go. I actually brought in that block and set the uh, texture pack here as I imported it. And as you can see, we got this nice oak plank block and it's using the texture that we just designed or put together in Photoshop. Now, of course, this means you could also draw your own textures. You don't have to use a pre-made texture pack. You can actually just in Photoshop or whatever program you're using, I can literally just draw on these and uh, make my own textures. If uh, just show you real quick, I can draw on this and whatever I put on here, it will actually have in the texture pack uh, in Minimator. So I'll go ahead and save that and we'll show you that in a moment. All right, so back in uh, Minimator here, if I go to change the type of block we have, I could change the data because we have wood plank selected. And as I scroll through, you'll see that we have all of the forms that we imported in uh, Photoshop here. So those work. And then when we get to the one that we don't have, it reverts back to the original because those are the ones that we have still saved in uh, the original texture file, if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, so as you can see there, we've done that. And of course, if I want to change this, I just bring in the other texture pack there. This is the one that I just saved that we drew over. And if I change this, you'll see there's those marks we made. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I can think of to show you guys about how to do your own texture packs. You can import them on your own if you have one that's for the old version of Minecraft, or you can make it yourself. It's tedious, but once you get it all done, uh, you'll have it forever. Or you can draw your own from scratch and import it into Minimator and have all kinds of cool things. So I hope that was helpful, guys. I hope you learned something. Again, uh, the Patreon link is in the description if you want to support my channel and what I'm doing and help me to do more and better quality and all those great things. Feel free to check that out. In any case, if you like this video and you want to support me in other ways, then feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends and your family and your pets, and I will see you guys in the next video.